everybody. Welcome back to Good Night Lighthouse. I'm Miss Dorothy, and I'm here to read you another story. And I have another story tonight about being a good friend. We read a lot of these because it's very important that you realize how important it is for you to be a good friend. And this one's called Barnabas Helps a Friend. Barnabas helps a friend. This is Barnabas. He's a little bear who likes to be helpful. But something happens in the woods and he doesn't know if he can help because it's a really big job. But he really wants to. And we need to get into this book and find out if Barnabas is able to help his friend. Are you ready to get into this book with Miss Dorothy? Good. I need you to sit up and listen up because here we go. Barnabas Helps a Friend, Story and Pictures by Royden Lepp. Barnabas looked out of his den. Rain poured down. Lightning lit up the sky. This is a bad storm, Barnabas said. Oh, that is a bad storm. Look at that lightning in the sky. Soon the storm ended. The storm had made a mess of Brookdale Wood. I will go see if my friends need help. Barnabas said. He's going to show you if anybody helps, needs help cleaning up after the big storm. Barnabas saw his best friend. Hi, Russell Raccoon, he said. Are you okay? Russell nodded his head. Yes. Let's go see if our friends need help, Barnabas said. Mr. Beaver was very sad. What happened to Mr. B? Barnabas asked. The wind blew very hard. A tree fell down on my house, said Mr. Beaver. Oh, no. Look at that big tree. It fell right through the roof of Mr. Beaver's house. I will fix my house, Mr. B said. I'm good with wood. We will help, said Barnabas. Friends always help when trouble comes. Oh, what a great idea, Barnabas. Thanks, Mr. Beaver said. Let's move this tree first. The friends pushed and pulled. They tugged and tugged, but the tree did not move. It's too big. It's too heavy. This is too hard. I'll start a new house tomorrow, said Mr. B. Mr. B sat down on a rock. Barnabas and Russell walked away sadly. Oh, they were disappointed that they couldn't help their friend. Um, you know what we could do, Barnabas said to Russell. Let's ask our friends to help fix Mr. B's house. We can do it all together. He's right. They just need more people to move that big tree. Barnabas and Russell asked Timothy Turtle to help them. Um, I'm busy, said Timothy. I'm sorry. That's okay, Barnabas said. Timothy's too busy to help. Barnabas and Russell asked Sadie Squirrel to help them. Um, I'd love to, said Sadie. But I'm helping someone. Oh, I see, Barnabas said. Oh, Sadie can't help either. Barnabas and Russell looked and looked for more friends. We can fix Mr. B's house, Barnabas said. We can do it together. They just need a little more help. Barnabas and Russell Raccoon went back to Mr. B's house. They were so surprised. They found all their friends helping Mr. Beaver clean up. That's who everybody was helping. They were all going to help Mr. Beaver. Everyone helped move the tree off Mr. Beaver's house. Yippee! They shouted. They can do it. They can do it if they work together. The friends of Brookdale Wood worked together to fix Mr. Beaver's house. I'm glad that everyone is helping Mr. Beaver, said Barnabas. Of course, said Timothy. Friends always help when trouble comes. Yay, the friends worked together and helped Mr. Beaver. Wow, that was terrible when that tree fell on Mr. Beaver's house and Barnabas really wanted to help, but it was too heavy, he couldn't do it alone. And he was asking some other friends and they were like, no, I'm too busy. And he didn't know what he was gonna do. But finally, they all decided to work together. And when you work together with your friends, you can accomplish anything. It's so good that the friends decided to come help and together, 
they all took care of their friend, Mr. Beaver. What a great book. What good friends they are, especially Barnabas. He knew right from the beginning that he should be a good friend and a good helper. I'm glad he was able to convince his other friends. And I hope you'll remember that. Remember to be a good friend. Help your friends if they need help. Don't say I'm too busy. If your friend has a problem or they're trying to do something and they can't do it by themselves, help your friend. That's what good friends do. And I know that you're a good friend because you're my friend and I know that you would help me just like I'm here to help you. If you ever need help from Miss Dorothy, just let me know. I'm here to help you. If you ever have a book that you want Miss Dorothy to read, just let me know because I'm your friend and I will read it for you. And I hope that you'll remember that on the playground, at school, at home, wherever you're at, remember, be a good, helpful friend. Not only to your friends, but also to your teacher and your mom and dad. You can be helpful at school, you can be helpful at home, and you can show them how good you can be when you obey and obey right away. And then come back and see Miss Dorothy, because I'm going to be sitting right here, ready to read another book to you. Bye! Thanks for reading with Miss Dorothy. I hope you enjoyed this book, and I hope you'll come back soon to read another. What's your favorite book? Drop Miss Dorothy a note and let me know. I'll go find it, and I'll read it to you. Be sure to subscribe, like, and share. I'll see you soon.